Christopher Voss is an FBI former special agent and terrorism expert, also managing director of Insight Security. Thank you for joining us. Good morning. My pleasure. So DHS says there is no specific credible plot. How seriously would you take this threat? Well, I, I look at this two ways, um, and one in sort of the awareness issue. I almost look at this as a public safety announcement. I mean, we need to look out for each other in our society, and this is a reminder that when we go out to public places, just to look out for each other, simple little things like be aware of where the entrances and exits are, very similar like you would uh, a fire drill, any, any, other, any other, other sort of thing, just to take care of each other. Now, what does this tell us about al-Shabaab? What this really tells us is they're low on money. They needed to do an announcement to make their followers, who are in the area of this mall and are not doing anything, make them feel guilty for sitting on their hands. There's a lot of people that are sympathetic to al-Shabaab that actually shop at this mall, and they don't want to have anything to do with violence, but they're sympathetic to the causes back home. They're trying to get them to send them more money. So this is a little bit of a guilt trip on al-Shabaab's part to try to increase funds. Huh. As far as for each other, we just really need to look out for each other and, and realize that we need to take care of each other and, and be aware of our surroundings when we're out and about. Right. So is there anything that we can learn from the Kenya mall attack of 2013? Well, I think, again, it's an awareness issue, understanding where the exits and, and entrances are in the event of any sort of an emergency, even if it's just a fire, how to get safely out and how you can help other people get out. But Chris, you is should that, also be conscious. Is that enough, though? Uh, you know, Jay Johnson uh, says that visitors to the Mall of America should be particularly careful. Uh, you know, DHS also says it has provided local law enforcement and private sector partners with relevant information about the video. Can we assume that more is being done behind the scenes other than just giving local cops information about a video? Is there a plan behind the scenes here? Well, I think there's been a plan all along. I mean, they know where the funding and the recruitment comes for al-Shabaab, and they've actually been working very hard behind the scenes to make good relationships in the community so that if someone wants to do something violent, that the intelligence is gathered. So Jay Johnson and the Department of Homeland Security have been looking at this area for a while because there is a large Somali community nearby. Yeah, uh, Johnson actually says that he personally visited Minneapolis uh, to meet with Islamic community leaders, uh, supposedly uh, to accomplish what you're saying, to uh, get any kind of information, any kind of cooperation. Uh, do you suppose that that meeting accomplished some of that? You know, I think even the fact that he showed up and showed them that he cares, whenever leaders like that show up in a community and have direct face-to-face -face contact, and if nothing else, show respect for them. That does a lot to create good relationships in the community, and by and large, the Somali community is living there because they want to have a decent place to live and work. They, they don't want to be part of the violence. So they want the law-abiding aspects of the community to root out the, the few people that might be prone to violence. So tell us more about al-Shabaab. It is based in Somalia. It's affiliated with al-Qaeda. How would you compare it to ISIS, to some of these other groups? Well, they're struggling. Uh, they're a criminal gang. They are clearly with nothing going on right now. They're, uh, they're in the publicity business, like all terrorists are, and they actually see themselves being overshadowed by ISIS, who are running all these videos, and they actually get jealous of one another. So in my view, them showing a video at this point in time is telling us that they're low on funds, and they're trying to get their followers to give them more support. All right. Christopher Voss, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Thanks for having Very me.